Hey folks, do you know what separates the top 2% from everyone else in today's AI powered world? It's not just having AI tools, it's orchestration. Let me explain. I believe that by the end of 2025, we're going to see a new divide emerging, one more dramatic than anything we've witnessed in business before. On one side, companies stumbling through disconnected AI implementation. On the other, organizations achieving 10x results through perfect AI orchestration. This isn't speculation. This is what we're already seeing with our clients at First Movers. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Julia McCoy, the clone of the First Movers founder. We've helped all kinds of businesses and organizations implement AI systems that don't just work. They transform entire operations. To learn more and book your consultation where we deliver a full report and deep dive into immediate wins you can have with AI right now, go to firstmovers.ai forward slash consultation. Today, I'm pulling back the curtain on what's really happening with AI implementation right now, featuring an expert from our very own team, Jeff Jensen. The truth? Most businesses are wasting 70% of AI's potential. They're stuck in what I call the tool trap, where they're collecting AI tools like Pokemon cards, but have no strategic framework to make them work together. Yikes! Let me share something shocking that happened just last month with one of our clients. They came to us with 14 different AI subscriptions, costing over $9,000 per month, no joke, and still had team members manually moving information between systems, rewriting outputs, and constantly troubleshooting. After implementing our AI orchestration framework, they're now running on just four core tools, which includes their own agentic flow we built for them that they get to own. We walked their team through it on coaching calls, which are included in our consultation services. So everyone in the organization also has a level playing field knowledge of their custom built cutting edge tool. We're saving them $7,200 monthly and their content production capacity actually increased by 250%. This isn't magic, it's orchestration. So what exactly is AI orchestration? It's the art and science of making multiple AI systems work together as a unified intelligence, where outputs from one system become inputs for another, creating seamless workflows that minimize human intervention. Think of it like an orchestra. Individual instruments, AI tools, can play beautiful music alone, but when conducted properly, they create a symphony that's exponentially more powerful than the sum of its parts. The most successful businesses in 2025 won't be the ones with the most expensive AI tools. They'll be the ones who master these three levels of orchestration. Level one, tool to tool orchestration. This is connecting your AI tools so they share data and functionality. For example, having your customer service AI automatically update your marketing AI AI about customer pain points. For some examples, here's Jeff Jensen from our team at First Movers walking through some of the build outs we do. Yeah, what I'd like to share with you guys is how we are creating these kind of custom interfaces to interface with LMMs and create these modular workflows where, you know, the future of work is going to be company knowledge bases where your employees have access to company wide um, LMMs that are trained on the website, the data, you know, the systems and processes. And so what we did is we have, you know, a supervisor agent, which kind of acts as a mastermind that uh, queries other modular agent architectures and workflows. And you could do this again and again and again in this kind of hierarchical system to build out any workflow per category. And so we could do like finance, HR, marketing, sales departments, or even in personal, you could do like your contact management, your relationships, your financing, uh, your health. And you could basically categorize your life and assign AI agents and workflows within those categories in this kind of hierarchical modular way where these agents have access to data that you're supplying through the actual workflows. And so what that looks like is we can go in here and pragmatically just do some Google automations where, you know, for example, if a new folder is, is updated, you know, like if you change a specific file or you change a specific folder in your Google drive, this will trigger automations to actually run. And so like we, we can have modular systems basically built where if we're using like Google Suite, for example, and you can use other applications for this, but we would basically have um, systems where for each of the categories, you would have uh, categorical workflows, categorical folders, where you would upload files, documentation, knowledge base, and this would automatically, you know, link into those agents. And so based on the categories, you have this kind of 
uh, workflow and system and automation where we're, we're loading knowledge bases into each of the categories in the business, each of the categories in your life. And the agent has access to that knowledge. It can reference that knowledge. It can make calculations based on that. It can make decisions. It can create different outputs, different documents, decision trees. It can inform other apps based on these things. And so this is your basic system architecture that we're installing into businesses in 2025 that want to upgrade their entire workflow, their operations, and have an AI first and an AI knowledge based first approach to uh, their own internal systems processes. And even for C-suite executives, you know, personal life decisions, contact management, productivity, sending emails and things like this. And so this is really the vision of what we want to install for all of our clients as a foundational kind of um, modular interface. And then we can build more and more custom automations and content on top of this that fuels your progress. Level two, system orchestration. This means creating conditional logic that directs work to the right AI at the right time. Think of it as building decision trees that root tasks based on complexity, subject matter, or required output quality. Level three, hybrid AI human orchestration. This is the most powerful level, designing systems where human and AI augment each other. The key insight, humans should only touch work at their highest point of contribution, not as glorified copy-paste machines. Now, let me show you what this looks like in practice. Here's a real example from our client in the legal industry. Previously, their content creation workflow had 17 human touch points. Their team was constantly switching between tools, formatting documents, and manually moving information. After implementing our orchestration framework, we reduced it to just three strategic human touch points. The result? They now produce 4x more content with the same team, and their content performance metrics improved by 36%. The orchestration dividend is real. McKinsey's research shows that businesses with integrated AI systems achieve an average of 50% higher ROI on their AI investments compared to those using disconnected tools. But there's a problem. Most businesses are approaching AI implementation backward. They start with tools instead of strategy. They focus on capabilities instead of workflows. And they prioritize raw output over business outcomes. So here's what you need to know to be in that top 2% by the end of 2025. First, start with your business outcomes and work backward. Define what success looks like in concrete, measurable terms before selecting a single tool. Second, map your entire workflow before implementing any AI. Understand every step, every decision point, and every potential bottleneck. Third, implement in connected phases, not isolated tools. Each implementation should build on and enhance previous ones. At First Movers, we've distilled this into our Movers methodology, a proven framework for implementing orchestrated AI systems. M, measure your current capabilities and constraints. O, identify opportunities for AI implementation. V, prioritize based on value and feasibility. E, deliver essential quick win implementations. R, align resources for scaling successful pilots. S, validate success through concrete metrics. This methodology has helped our clients achieve results that seemed impossible just months ago. Let me share one more case study that illustrates the power of orchestration. A mid-sized marketing agency came to us struggling with inconsistent quality and missed deadlines. They had implemented ChatGPT, Claude, and several other AI writing tools, but results were unpredictable. Our team discovered the problem wasn't the tools, it was orchestration. We built them a custom workflow that, one, roots each content request to the optimal AI based on content type, two, implements automatic quality checks between AI handoffs, three, creates feedback loops that improve output over time, four, maintains brand voice consistency across all content, five, builds a growing knowledge base that makes each output better than the last. The results? Content production time decreased by 68%, quality consistency improved by 42%, and most importantly, their team now focuses on strategy and client relationships instead of wrestling with AI tools. This is the future of business, not just using AI, but orchestrating it.
By 2025, the organizations that master this skill will operate at a pace and scale that makes competitors look like they're standing still. So here's my challenge to you. Take a hard look at your current AI implementation. Are your tools talking to each other? Have you mapped your entire workflow or just automated isolated tasks? Is your team spending more time wrangling AI or using its output strategically? If you're honest with yourself, you'll probably find significant orchestration gaps. That's normal. We see it with almost every client who comes to us. Now, there are two paths forward. You can spend the next six to 12 months figuring this out through trial and error, investing in tools that don't work together and training your team on systems that will need to be replaced. Or you can work with experts who have already solved these exact problems for businesses just like yours. At First Movers, we don't just implement AI, we orchestrate it. Our team handles everything from strategy to implementation ensuring your systems work together seamlessly to deliver transformative results. Want to see if we're a good fit? Here's what to do next. Click the link in the description to schedule an AI assessment call. For just $250, you'll get 90 minutes with one of our AI consultants who will, one, evaluate your current AI implementation, two, identify your highest impact orchestration opportunities, three, create a custom roadmap for implementation, Four, show you exactly what results you can expect. This isn't a sales pitch. It's a working session that delivers immediate value whether you choose to work with us or not. The future belongs to those who master AI orchestration. Will you be in that top 2% by the end of 2025? The choice is yours. If this video gave you value, hit subscribe to get more insights on how to stay ahead of the AI curve. And remember in the world of AI, it's not about having more tools. It's about making them work together. Hey folks, real Julie McCoy here, not my avatar. <laughs> I just want to pop in and say I appreciate so much all the comments and the love, the prayers that I have seen, read, heard in the comments um, on my video about, especially the one on Nikola Tesla, PEMF, all the therapies I've been trying. Um, it's about, it's a little over a week since I created that video and the drastic improvement in my health in just one week is unbelievable because we got to the right solutions. We got to the right doctor after trying around nine that didn't have solutions and a lot of prescriptions and a lot of therapies, and IVs and injections and all this stuff set me back, unfortunately. Um, so there's a ton of infections, including long COVID and underlying it all is a nervous system, systemic breakdown. Um, and so I've learned how to recuperate. I can't wait to share what I've learned with you all because a lot of you have also emailed, DM'd, messaged to say, I know somebody going through this or I am going through this too. And I don't know what it is. I don't know how to actually heal. Um, so I can't wait to share more, but I just want to jump in and I'll do this sometimes if you like. Let me know in the comments if some of you are like, I missed the real Julia. <laughs> um, so I can jump in a little bit more frequently and just pop in and say hello. Um, if you want, but my digital home is one of my favorite ways now to express myself because I am a writer first, not a speaker, and I handwrite. I use AI, but I pretty much handwrite every script that clone speaks. So it comes straight from me and it's very well researched. Um, something I'm obsessed with is artificial intelligence and where it's going. And I get to speak to some brilliant people on a regular basis put our minds together and kind of look into the future. So that's my goal and that's my continued goal. And now that I'm getting more strength, sleeping through the night, like major improvements in my health, I can see it, I can feel it. Thank God for it. A lot of it, there's no, there's no reason why I woke up and felt so much better that day, except like church and prayer the day before, I'm not kidding you. So the quantum realm is real. We can align with it and we can call it down. That's what I believe, and I think the quantum realm is you're either calling it up from the pits of darkness or you're calling it down from heaven. And I've seen this tangibly inside the last four months of healing. I've seen it very tangibly through laying on of hands from other people that had great faith and called down healing, and I literally felt it and saw it. Um, 
to just praying in my home with people that I love, close friends, family. Um, I don't have a lot of family in my life, so my friends have become my family. I've kind of picked and chosen who my family is, which is amazing. You know, we all have autonomy and freedom to do that. So, yeah, just wanted to pop in here and say I really appreciate a lot of you that care. And I see that in the comments. And you want me here. You want me in the AI industry. <laughs> so do I. I don't want to ever leave it. But now I have a new mission and that new mission is to share a place of abundance and alignment with not necessarily just sharing my faith all the time. I don't want to do that. You know, I don't want to preach it, you guys. So apologies if that ever came off. That's not my intention. But how do we actually steward what's coming in a way where we're not part of the tech elite that have ulterior evil motives? I'll just say it. So how do we be stewards of abundance? How do we actually take our place and claim our right as a human being in this great uh, age of abundance? Because LLMs themselves were built from all of us. They weren't built from one tech elite, one company. Sure, big companies have helped us get there, and so we owe that to them. But what they scraped and what these LLMs pulled from was our collective knowledge. And so we each have a right to that ROI. That's what I believe. And I think we're going to be able to see it if we play our cards right. And knowledge is half the battle, right? All right. So I'm going to wrap this up here. But it is peaceful, beautiful days over here as I recuperate and rest. I haven't really done that all my life, just taken months to rest. I am, my work is 90% automated. You know, our team at First Movers is doing an incredible job. If you need help automating your business, automating pieces in your organization, you have to talk to our team. We've restructured everything after six months of failing forward and learning what not to do and what to do and what, what our happiest clients are saying and what the ones that are didn't have their expectations met, why that occurred. So we've dug in, we've rebuilt things, and now you're gonna see on our homepage and in our pages different structure. And that is on purpose. That's to give you the best advantage, the best ROI in the quickest time possible. Instead of like a six month build out, how can we give you implementation wins in 30 days? And a lot of that comes down to us coaching you. That's where we've seen the biggest success because knowledge is power and we can transfer that to you. So anyway, you know, my goal is we're building the most elite, um, but also accessible, not out of range, because the labs will be anywhere from 150 to 300 bucks a month. So very, very accessible uh, with live trainings, over 30 courses, hands-on help from our expert team. Like, it's gonna be incredible. There's no model out there like this. We're building our own school platform for it. Um, yeah, so that's going to be amazing. And that launch is very, very soon. We built the school platform and that took a while. Um, but yeah, I'll wrap this up here and just wanted to appreciate you guys. You're the reason I'm here. You're the reason I keep going. You're the reason the clone keeps going. Um, and so literally everyone that watches this channel and gets good from it is the reason I do this. So I appreciate you all. And here's to the next age because uh, we're leaving an age and we're entering one and it's going to be wild. I'm here for it. I know you are too. So you know what I'm, you know what's coming next. I'll see you down the next rabbit hole.